Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. 125 identical cubes are arranged in the form of a cubical block. Since they have said 125 identical cubes, let's consider each cube has a volume of 1 meter cube. Now this means when 125 cubes are arranged in the form of a cube, the bigger cube will have a volume of 125. We know that volume is nothing but side cube, considering A as the side. So from this we can say that each side is of the length 5 which means 5 cubes are stacked upon from each side to form a bigger cube. This will be the visual representation of how the cubes are stacked upon. We are supposed to find the number of cubes that are completely surrounded by other cubes, which means we will have to eliminate all the surface area that is exposed outside and calculate the remaining ones. Side. This side contains a total of 25 cubes, so we'll eliminate that. This holds true for the back side as well, so 25 cubes from the back can be eliminated. Now let's calculate for the side. We cannot calculate it as 25 because there are certain common cubes that we have already calculated in the front and back. So these cubes in the edge are common for both front and side. Since we already calculated it in the front and back, let's subtract it from 25. So that is 5 from this side and 5 from that side which means 25 minus 10 that is 15. Now this will hold true for the other side as well therefore let's add 15 again here. Let's calculate for the remaining portion now, the top portion. Now all the edges of the top portion has already been calculated with fronts and sides. Therefore we'll have to eliminate all the edges from the top portion and the bottom portion. We have a total of 16 edge cubes therefore 25 minus 16 will give us 9. Now this holds true for the opposite side as well which is the bottom portion. Therefore adding 25 plus 25 plus 15 plus 15 plus 9 plus 9 would give us 98. So 125 minus 98 would give us 27. Therefore option A is the right answer. You can also arrive at this answer by using mensuration where you can subtract the total surface area from the volume.